we have picked out our pad, our polisher, and our correction fluid combination. So now it's time to get the car ready for the correction. And we want to protect some of these areas, moldings and trim areas. We're going to be using the rotary and a long throw polisher. We don't want to bump up against trim or moldings, damage them in any way. So we're going to protect them. We're going to mask them off. While I'm doing that, I can take the time and welcome you guys back to the channel. This is Brian from Apex Detail. This is the second video of a short series. Restoring the finish of this Z3 Coupe. Nicknamed the Clown Shoe. Again, I really like this thing. This thing would really be a fun car. I've had a blast working on it so far. I'm putting a cover over the wheels. They are cleaned and protected. And we're going to be slinging around a lot of compound dust. So we'll just save ourselves some time and not have to do our work twice. Keep the wheels clean. You don't have to go absolutely crazy here. We're not taping it up like we're going to paint the car. We're just taping off some of the trim pieces that we could accidentally bump up against with the polisher pad or backing plate. All right, we have our tools, we have our pads, we have our correction fluid, we have all the trim pieces protected, taped off. It's time to get started. Before we do, uh, we do want to get a measurement of gloss so we can keep track of the improvement we have made. We're going to be starting somewhere in the 80s up here. Uh, we've completed the hood and that's looking good so far. And you can see the difference between the two. We have a very cloudy, uh, non-reflective surface up top here and down on the hood it's nice and crisp and clear. And just for the heck of it let's take a quick reading on the hood here. And we've already made a drastic improvement that's before protection has even been laid down. So let's continue on. So if you have uh, been following the short series here in the first video, uh, we picked out um, our combination, our polisher, our pad. The only thing we really have to change up is the front and back, the bumper. We're going to switch to a little three inch rotary from Flex and then I'll follow that up with the Roops LHR75 pneumatic three inch polisher and the 5050 pad to follow that up and finish. And that's pretty much going to be the combination we will use and the method all the way around the car. I'm going to get a good head start, a good lead. I'll do the cutting. He'll follow me. He'll do the finishing. And this is the result. Uh, absolutely happy with it. What we have to do now is take it outside and wash it. A panel prep will not do. We've been slinging a lot of compound and dust uh, on this thing. So we're going to foam it up good. We're going to wash it. We'll bring it back in. Then we'll use a panel prep and we'll start the protection.
And that'll give me a chance to share some of the fun I've been having with Cook Chemi Gentle Snow Foam. I've been using this for cars that are already protected. And then for situations like this where we have it uh, corrected, but we just want to give it a quick wash. We don't need anything crazy. We don't need to remove traffic film. That's already been done. So a gentle pH neutral snow foam, which you could use in this foam cannon, just an ounce or two will give you this nice, thick, rich foam, or an ounce or two in your contact wash bucket. We'll foam it down, rinse it, foam it once more with the cannon, and then just use a wash mitt and wash it down. Okay, now that we have it nice and clean, it's dried off, Junior's hitting it with a panel prep real quick while I get the Extreme Solutions Graphene Ceramic Coating ready. This is a five-year coating. Uh, we have the coating, we have the application block ready to go, work from top to bottom, do a crisscross pattern, half a panel at a time. You'll see it almost immediately starts to give you that rainbow effect which is usually a sign where you could start to wipe off the transfer solution. With this one here, I'll wait another 10, 15 seconds and then start to wipe it off. All right, let me give you the first person view, show you how easy it is to use. Here in the shop anyway, I haven't used it in extreme temperatures or extreme humidity settings, but here we're sheltered in the shop here. It's easy to apply and remove. All right, we just complete that process, same thing all the way around the car, and while that's curing, we can hit the tires. I'm just about out of this. The Gion Q2 tire is an SiO2 tire coating uh, dressing, and I've been using it for quite some time, and with all the coatings and dressings out there, I find myself always coming back to it. This is a very close first and second between this and the Fireball coatings. And now we can take a deep breath, relax a little bit, 
Enjoy it while it's curing. It's only into the first few hours of curing, but already looking incredible. A nice turnaround from when the card came in. Uh, and within the budget that we had for correction, the budget wasn't there for a multi-step. Uh, but with, with the two-step that um, we went around the car quickly with, uh, we kept the overhead down, made it profitable, and also made a pretty big turnaround. What do you guys think? And when I started, I always have the goal of hopefully triple digits on the gloss meter. Uh, we are early, and we won't get the highest gloss until the fifth, sixth, or seventh day of curing. But the way it looks right now, we will get there. And bam, there it is. And that's going to do it for this very short series. I hope you got some nuggets out of this. Again, the clear coat on this year, this type of car, uh, was rather hard. So hopefully I can get you different types of clear coats in every video and help you all out. Thanks for stopping by. Catch you guys in the next video.